walking on the footbridge border. So now I'm in no man's land between Panama and Costa Rica. It's pretty heavy with this bag. It's drenched in sweat already. So I've made it into Costa Rica, but because the border crossing took so long, it was such a big queue. Um, I missed the first bus to San Jose, so now I've got to wait for a few hours and get the next one. And hopefully, if all goes smoothly from here, I'll make it to San Jose by tonight. ¿Dónde eres? ¿Aquí? ¿San José? Eh, trabajo. Trabajo. Soy de la Fortuna, Renal. La Fortuna, ah, ok. Arenal, sí, sí, sí. Es beautiful. Sí. Un sábado a uh, Inglaterra vs Brasil. Brasil 1, Inglaterra 0. Oh my god. Beach. <laughs> a continuación, toma la salida. Sí, Hilton Garden. Directo. Sí. Es Hilton Garden. Sí, sí. Ese. Garden. Uh. Sí. Done it. Finally got to San Jose. That was an absolute mission. If I can give you one tip for traveling in Central America, is that everything takes twice as long as you think it's going to. So first of all, when I crossed the border into uh, Costa Rica, I thought I was on, it just went really smoothly and really quick. And then um, I realized that I had to join another queue to get stamped into Costa Rica. And because they didn't have enough staff on the border, I basically just had to join a queue of everyone who was going into Panama and entering Costa Rica. It was just the same like long queue. So that took over an hour, um, which meant I missed the first bus to San Jose. And then I had to wait three hours at the border and then got on that bus and then for whatever reason that bus just took so long. It was forecast to take four hours but it um, ended up taking seven and then got to the city, met this taxi driver, was like just trying to try my best to speak Spanish and communicate with him and I, I was doing okay to be fair, that's probably like the best Spanish I've spoken even though it's super basic. So I managed to communicate getting here after a bit of confusion with the directions. So that taxi journey from the bus terminal to this hotel basically cost more than the whole of the entire other part of the journey put together. <laughs> but yeah, staying at the Hilton Garden Inn tonight, which is pretty sick. So this place is way over my budget and I'm going to be in a hostel again tomorrow. Um, but just waiting for my sister to arrive and thought it'd be a nice little spot just to have a reset to break up the travel um, but I'm gonna milk every cent of the place I mean look how sick it is I mean it was like 150 bucks for one night but you don't get this kind of shit in $15 a night hostels wow gonna be stealing all this stuff yep yeah. fantastic love it love it love it Not much beach to walk along. That's a great glass. All right, morning, guys. Santa Teresa Beach. Yeah, what do you think? It's very, very nice. The sun has literally just came up above the tree. Yeah, it has. Like such a beautiful morning we're going to walk down the beach to another beach which is hopefully going to have like punchier waves because out here it looks real nice but it's actually kind of fat so we'll see you down the beach
exactly what you imagine Costa Rica like. It actually is. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Quintessential Costa Rica. Is that even? Yeah. I can't even see myself in that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest but um, managed to get a couple I think but yeah I don't think it was the difference in the quality of waves here compared to out the front of where we're staying it wasn't worth the walk yeah. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah this is Playa Santa Teresa where we're staying is Playa Carmen um, and I think with the right tide and conditions this is actually better but from what I've seen of it when I've been here not that much better. Yeah. <laughs> so that's all I can report at the moment. It's really, really fat, really, really crowded. Uh, but it's all right. Managed to stay calm. Didn't get too annoyed. Out there. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the first little insight into Santa Teresa. We're going to be here for another week, so we're going to break this place down a bit more for you guys. So hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe if you did, and uh, stay tuned.